Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we go about determining the interface status on a router. There's a lot of information we can get about interfaces on routers. However, some of the most basic information is relayed to us in terms of status codes. Now, you might have heard status codes referenced in the workplace if you ever heard somebody talk about an interface and they say something like, oh, it's up, up, or it's up, down, or perhaps it's admin down. What they're doing is they're referring to two codes, two status codes that every interface has. And this information is the most basic and fundamental information in terms of the status of an interface. All the other stuff you can learn about an interface, for instance, how much traffic is passing on it and whether or not the interface is perhaps taking errors. All of that stuff comes after you determine the, the, the basic functionality. In other words, is a, human is a human being breathing or not? Is their heart beating? It's almost that fundamental to the importance of an interface. So we're going to start by looking at some commands we'll issue on a router. And each one of these is a different command and tells us a little bit of different information about interfaces. However, each one does talk about the status codes of each of the interfaces. And then from there, we're going to drill down into the status codes themselves to figure out what exactly they're telling us about the interface. Okay, so let's actually jump onto a router and take a look at some of these commands. Alright, so here we are at the router command line. And let's start off by looking at a few commands. The first one is show IP interface brief. And that tells us a list of every interface on the router, whether or not it's configured and whether or not it's actually functioning. This is a list of everything. You can see on the left hand side we have the name of the interface, Ethernet 00, serial 00, so on and so forth. And as we progress across to the right, we have different columns of information. Well here, the last two columns are what we're interested in. These are our two status codes. You can see the one here is called status, and this one is called protocol. Each of the two status codes tells us information about different layers of the OSI model for that particular interface. So status, in other words, line status, this first column here, that's indicating the layer one status of the OSI model for this particular interface. In other words, the physical status. The protocol column, often called the protocol status, that's giving us information on the layer two, or the data link layer of the OSI model for this particular interface. So what are the differences? Well, the line status, as it's referred to, is physical, and the protocol status is the protocol. If we issue some other commands about interfaces, you'll see they all tell us the two status codes. So let's take a look at show protocols, and we'll look at Ethernet 00. There's not a lot of output here, and in fact just two lines. Here, you've got Ethernet 00 is up, and line protocol is up. So the format's a little bit different. The first one li listed, always on the left, is always going to be your line status, your layer one, and then protocol always states protocol, okay? If we were to look at a third command, show interface Ethernet 01, here we get all the detailed information about the interface, but you can see the very first line of output indicates the two status codes. Ethernet 01 is up, line protocol is down. Well, we now know we have these two status codes, layer one and layer two. Um, what are some of the things you need to think about if you see the different combinations of the interface statuses? I'm going to go back to the brief output for all the interfaces, and let's take a look at Ethernet 00. The status is up, the protocol is up. In order for an interface to function, in other words, in order for it to pass traffic, send and receive, both statuses have to be up. So if you've heard somebody say, hey, the interface is up, up, they're referring to these two codes, and they're referring to an interface that uh, is up and functioning. Now, if we look at Ethernet 01, the, the line status is up, but the protocol status is down. So, like I said, any deviation from up, up means it's not functioning properly. Here, that interface will not pass traffic because both status codes are not up. 
And then if we take a look at Ethernet 1.0, you can see on the line status it says administratively down and the protocol is down. So here, somebody has gone into the interface configuration and actually issued the shutdown command, and that turns it down. It cannot actually work until you go back in there and turn it up with the no shutdown command. So we've administratively disabled Ethernet 1.0. Let's take a look now at some of the different combinations of the two status codes because you'll need to be really familiar with these because when you look at an interface you need to determine right away if it's functioning the two status codes and also if it's not functioning if it's not up up what are some of the things you need to think about in terms of troubleshooting the reason why it's not up up. Well because there are only two status codes there really aren't too many combinations to worry about. The first one to look at is the easiest one and that's the up up status. So here the line status is up, meaning the physical connection is good, and the protocol status is up, meaning the protocol layer, the data link layer, is functioning properly. This is what you want to see. If you don't see this, you're not going to pass traffic. The next combination is up down. In other words, the line status or the physical is okay, but the protocol status, the data link layer, it's down. It's not functioning. The two devices are not talking properly uh, when it comes to the layer 2 protocol used. Now that could indicate a couple different problems. Usually it's configuration re related. So there could be a clocking issue or a framing problem on the circuit or perhaps there's an encapsulation mismatch. Those are some of the things you can look at when you're troubleshooting a protocol status of down. So you can see here why these, th these uh, status codes are are very helpful and understanding them is very useful because it points you in a direction of where you need to look if you see a problem. Now this next combination, down down, is indicating a problem on the physical layer. If the line status is down, the protocol status will always be down as well because if there's no physical connection or a problem with the physical connection, then there's no way you can possibly send data link protocols across it because you don't have that physical connection which is required. So just keep that in mind. If you see the line status is down, the protocol will always be down. Here you need to first troubleshoot the physical layer. Finally, we have the line status as administratively down and the protocol status is down. And we touched upon this one here. Somebody went into the interface and actually disabled it. So there may not be a problem with this on a physical level or on a data link protocol level, but we don't know because it's been disabled. In order to see how it would function if it were enabled, we would actually have to enable it and then see how the status codes change. Okay, so familiarize yourself with these combinations. Um, if it's a line status problem, think physical problem. Is the cable uh, plugged in or not? Is it the correct cable type? Is another device actually connected on the other side of the cable? Those types of things. If it's protocol status related problems, uh, think in terms of configuration that we mentioned. Okay, so to summarize what we covered, the line status refers to the physical status of the interface. And if you ever see that down, think in terms of troubleshooting the cabling involved, the port itself, perhaps it's damaged. If there is cabling connected, is anything connected to the other side? Okay, so think physical, literal connection. Now the protocol status indicates the data link or your layer 2 of the OSI model. Now if you see something down uh, in the protocol status, well then you need to think about troubleshooting more likely a configuration problem. Perhaps one side is different than the other. But keep in mind, if the line status is down, your protocol status will be down automatically. So if before you start troubleshooting the protocol status, make sure your line status is up. All right, generally speaking, familiarize yourself with the different combinations, and depending on what you see, have an idea of what you need to look at if there's a problem. In other words, if you do not see up, up, you should immediately know in which direction you should start looking to troubleshoot the interface. Okay, so that's it. That is how we go about determining the interface status on a router. Thanks for watching.